Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. So last week we were in France, the week before that we were in America. This week we're in Greece. And before we start about how easy it was to book, let me just tell you what happened in the race because it's pretty funny and ridiculous. So Rachel, what happened in the race? At the beginning of the race, what happened? We didn't really get to start at the start. No, basically they decided to do it in uh, they decided to do the fun runners before us and us after the fun runners, which is okay. However, the fun runners were starting just five minutes before us and there was hundreds of them. So that means after say one and a half K, we would bump into the tail end of the fun runners. And the course was not that wide, so there was no way we could get around them. So this was concerning to us. So what did we do? Oh, yeah mentioned it to the organizers before the race took off that it wasn't um, maybe the best way to to start it uh, but that was blatantly ignored and we were just told to get back in our box and wait for our turn yeah the the woman i i spoke to she she laughed at me and says you're faster than them don't worry just run around them i said how can you run around hundreds of people i'm here for a race this is not fair and she just laughed and says don't worry about it so the fun runners shot off then Actually, I don't even think they waited five minutes. I actually think it was three minutes. Uh, so everyone at the front line thought, oh, there might be some competition here. So I shot off. I did the first climb to 250. I was in good form. And within a couple hundred meters, I saw the tail end of the uh, fun runners. And I realized there's no way to go past them. So maybe I'll have to go under the ribbon. There's like a ribbon all the way around, wasn't there? There was, yeah, it was tying off the ribs. So I was running pretty fast at this stage because I was pretty excited. So I went under the ribbon probably at 250 pace and pulled my back as soon as I went under, which I could feel it go near enough straight away. And as I lifted up, I realized ah, I might have to stop here, my back's in bits, but I thought no one's taking over me, I'll just carry on. So all the way around the course, I was taking over fun runners. When I got to the bit, say after about three and a half K, the fun runners were more spread out, so it was easier to take over them. However, my back was in bits. And uh, I finished, no one took over me. Uh, about 400 meters to go, I there was more people. There was the 10Ks, the half marathon, marathon people. And I finished over the line thinking I won. Uh, however, when it came to the awards, uh, they called my name out second. And I thought, well, this is a bit strange. No one took over me. Surely I won the race. So the the winner, the winner, went to the podium. And I said to him, I said, excuse me, mate. I never saw you in the race. Were you on the line with me in the second? He goes, no, no, I went to, at the front with the fun runners. I goes, you're a cheat. That's cheating. You were supposed to come with us. And he just laughed. He goes, ah, it's grand. I said, no, it's not grand. I actually wanted to punch him. I was really, really upset, to be honest with you, because he... My back had gone. After I finished on the line, I collapsed on the floor because I couldn't move my back. And uh, this guy was just smirking at me, laughing. And I said, well, you're a cheater, you know, and that was it. And then he was speaking to the third guy. And what happened to you? Well, similar in so far as um, when I took off in the race, I ended up running to the fun runners, but I didn't do my back in the same as you. I was getting shouted at for ducking and diving through the uh, fun runners and the social runners. Uh, they weren't happy that I was supposed to be trying to get past them and shouting at them to get out of the way. Um, I raced to the end, no female overtook me. I don't think actually many guys even overtook me in the race. I did run into the, the 10K runners, same as yourself, and uh, towards I suppose, the latter part of the course as well. I finished in what I thought was and expected to be first place because no female had overtaken me um, from the racing uh, start. But when it came to the awards ceremony, I didn't get called up at all. Um, there was no re recognition of my race. Um, it was three race, I'm going to say racers, but runners who had um, taken off from the fun runners and um, beasts that were in first, second and third. Um, so. I suppose again it was a matter that I only found out afterwards that I'd actually finished in a time that I should have been awarded for but it was something that was completely overlooked or omitted or ignored from the organisers perspective and uh, yeah I didn't didn't get um, an award. Yeah so uh, and I looked at the results after and I realised that 
every in every event the Greeks won, so I reckon they just didn't want foreigners to win the, the race, and they they just decided to kick her off and just you know put the Greeks at the front, so they'd win. Uh, didn't tell any of the foreigners about you know starting with those, and you know it did just cheat at the end of the day, and uh, they might as well be injected with drugs because they just cheats and gave me a horrible taste in my mouth after the Lord Mayor came up to me. He says, ah, oh, I'm the Lord Mayor. And to be honest with you, he looked like he was in the Mafia. To be honest with you, he looked a bit dodgy. I wanted to hit him with the trophy, uh, but I didn't. Rachel stopped me. You know, just about. Just about. Just about. And the guy who came first, well, he did come first. Uh, I wanted to just knock him off the podium as well. Well, that's it. That's the race, really. Uh, was it easy to book? It, it was easy to book, yeah, to be fair, but I suppose they're you know, happy to take the money for just not give out the prizes maybe after, but no, there was, there was no problem to book it. Before the race, was there expo, food, coffee, anything uh, like that? No, not really. There was, you picked up our bibs the day before. Yeah, um, in the little was, corridor. To be honest, corridor. the amount of people that did the race, you'd expect some expo and stuff, but there was nothing before the race. To be honest, no expo or anything. A bit disappointing. Bunch at the start of the line. Not really. Only no. with me no. complaining, yeah. wondering why I'm starting behind the fun runners. So that was it with the band. It marshals. Marshals. They, well, they didn't need too many marshals because of the tape being up in so many places. But it was it wasn't badly marked off. It was just uh, it was an not, easy not course. It was, the course was fine. Yeah, it was fast. Yeah. It was zigzaggy. It yeah. wasn't super fast, but you know, quick enough. Quick enough. Yeah. It's just it's hard to get around 200, 300 quick. 300 fun runners, you know, when you're running at 250 pace and your back's gone, you know. I should have gone in the wheelchair event, to be honest with you. Well, I probably will. He actually ruined my year that race because uh, after the race I had to go to the chemist and get injections. Anyway, after the race, uh, banter? Well, apart from me slagging off first place, um, not really. There, were, there wasn't really much to go on. Like the award ceremony was on for an extended period of time. Mm. Um, you know, and this was the weather was nice, you could kind of hang out waiting for the award ceremony where I think you're going to get your proper award. We got trophies. We, we eventually we did get the trophies, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know where the trophies are. Yeah. She's taking them away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the bin. <laughs> in, in the <laughs> bin. So, t but Rachel, to get her trophies, she rang the organisers. Yeah, well, it wasn't until later that I realised that, mm. um, you know, the, that they had made a complete hames of the results. And uh, not awarded me when I deserved because I thought maybe I'd made, I'd made a mistake because of the 10k runners that ran into then as well, and there, just, there must have been somebody who had finished ahead of me. Um, but yeah, later on realised that I was right, they were wrong. Um, so did contact them, just pointed out to them, and they said they did apologise. That oh look, we'll meet you tomorrow, we'll give you your award. And the organiser actually apologised, says this is a problem with young Greeks at the moment; they're all cheats. Yeah, but, yeah. but even when we said to them, well, listen, it's the, kind of the way you have it organised, you're letting people go ahead who should technically, if they're only there for fun, maybe just put them behind and let the, the competitors go first and then they're out of the way and not holding anybody up. But he wasn't really happy with that suggestion. I don't think either. He didn't want to hear it, um, you know. Yeah. So if you do go Greece, just remember, guys, just cheat because they're going to cheat anyway. Do whatever you want. Cut the corners, do whatever because they're just going to cheat. And... Uh, that's it. So uh, after the race, it's pretty crap. Yeah, yeah nothing, nothing to write home about. Uh, so we were both robbed of the race, which is a shame. Any food and drink after the race? Um, there was dr oh, there was drinks and stuff sitting around. I don't know if it was food. I don't remember. No, it was crap. Yeah. It was rubbish. It was shit. For the amount of people who did that race, five k, ten k, half marathon, marathon, it was crap. You know, I could have pulled on a better race to be nice, blindfolded. Uh, t-shirts and medals? Um, there might, might have been a t-shirt, I don't don't recall. Um, well, I might, maybe I've burnt it. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember a t-shirt. I actually can't remember a t-shirt. No, maybe we didn't get one. We just got those trophies there. Trophies, yeah. Losers trophies. Uh, prize money? Definitely not going to be Definitely any prize didn't get any, money. Nothing. If there was, they'd probably steal it from themselves, to be honest with you. The cheats. <laughs> the, the, to be honest, the Lord Mayor looked a bit crooked to me. He looked a bit dodgy. He looked yeah. like somebody from a mafia guy from Italy. Well, he, you know, he wasn't. He wasn't happy with uh, having to meet up and give me a trophy. I don't actually the think they day. wanted a foreigner to win the race. To be honest, they gave all the prizes to the Greeks. Yeah. Which is unusual when you go ab abroad. It's usually some foreigner that wins the race. Yeah, and all the Greeks won. Yeah. 
We did get interviewed, though. Oh, we did get interviewed. We did get interviewed. That got deleted, though. But the footage got deleted, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The TV. Yeah. Uh, weather? Weather was lovely. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Weather was lovely. Yeah, very warm. Lovely. Food? Food, food in um, Athens, yeah, it was nice. Yeah, we found some, some good places to eat. Greek, they, they're very good cooks. The food is beautiful. I think it got food poisoning though. Yeah, I think it did. I had the trots, yeah. but a lot of things happened to me there. Uh, hotels, Airbnbs. Airbnbs, uh, well, we had a bit of a mixed bag of experience. Um, yeah, it, I think it has the potential to to be lovely. Um, there probably are some great ones when we stayed in. Was um, Well, the Airbnb I booked, I booked, yes. It had a balcony, uh, we got there, the, Lovely. Yeah. Uh, the fridge wasn't working. The freezer wasn't working. I brought about forty quid worth of freezer stuff, but got ruined for the first night because it didn't work. Uh, the shower was made for a lump of lump from uh, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Yeah, <laughs> like, you couldn't. You couldn't stand up. <laughs> Rachel's <laughs> tall. <laughs> it's like her head was popping out, like looking at the scenery. Uh, and it, it was like a big. Like, it was. It was tiny. Yeah, yeah. So and it was yeah. a little metal tap thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I had to, I had to hold it to. So to maybe the owners. Uh, from Factory, I don't know. Yeah. But the, the balcony was beautiful, it was huge. Mm. You know, you had lovely views of the city and the mountains and everything in the background. Um, I was doing yoga up there every morning. Um, there was plenty, plenty of outside space. Millions of cats. <laughs> Millions is an understatement. Millions of cats. Millions everywhere. So uh, I'm an animal person, so for me it's not a problem. But uh, if you're not into cats like some people aren't, there's millions, seriously. Uh, the, the race actually ruined my running for about three months because while I was in there, you're allowed to get, my back was gone, I couldn't walk, I was almost crying, and I went to the local chemist and they injected me with painkillers, I think three days in a row. I'll put the video up there now of the, the girl and the chemist injecting me. You can't do that in Ireland or England, can I you? I don't think so. Uh, so they injected me with painkillers, uh, it helped a little bit. Uh, however, when I got back home, I had to go see a doctor again. He gave me another injection and he gave me an injection of B12, which apparently heals the injury quicker. Uh, so. My running was gone for at least three months after that. I, I pulled out of a race a couple of weeks after because of my back. And then I ran a 16.04 for a 5k race. And my back seized up after 3k in that race. So I was looking for a good low 15 minutes. But what can you do? Uh, would you go back to that race? No. No, I wouldn't no. go back to that race, even if you paid me. If the organizers rang me now and said, listen, Lee, we're going to give you free trainers and free running tops and, and stuff. What are you going to do next time? Inject your athletes with drugs? Go away with you. Uh, was, was a receipt? <laughs> receipt? A re receipt? Results easy to find? Results? I am not the easiest, I would say. It took, took a lot because no one who got back and was checking the phone. It took ages to actually get them when they were available online. Um, so, no, not the best. I didn't want to look at the results, to be honest with you. I was a bit upset. Um, the Athens is the city itself. It's okay, isn't it? You got the Olympia, yeah. uh, Olympia Stadium that ran around. Yeah, we yeah, paid. We only paid five. Was it five quid to get in? A bit of five. Euro. But you know, actually, yeah. it, you have to pay to get in. If you walk around, you can get in from the top, just in case you're not willing to spend five quid. You know, because the Greeks they rip you off, so you might as well get kind in for free. All the locals go up. There's a nice kind of forest piece yeah. um, beside us, and nature trails and stuff. So there's a lot of them kind of running and walking up that way. So you, you could you could just walk through the nature trails and find yourself in the top of the stadium. The English is good in Greece. It is, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they speak perfect English, yeah. better than mine. <laughs> that's no about, comment. Yeah, that's about it. So that's Greece, we're definitely not going to go back to that race. Nope. Uh, like, I do like Greece, I'll be honest with you. It's nice, the food is beautiful, the weather is nice. It's just, you know, we had a bad experience in that race. It's not going to put us off from Greece, doing another race in Greece. I just won't do that one again because it's badly organised and you pay enough money to do the race. Uh, I can't even remember the t-shirt and they just rip me off. Uh, so next week we're going to be going to Cyprus. Cyprus is nice. Cyprus, it's, Cyprus it's lovely. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. I enjoyed that race. So next week we're going to be talking about Cyprus. So come back. Just remember guys, train hard or die trying. See you later.